Okay, fifth graders. We are in 12... What are we in now? 12-3. So this is... Uh, this is 12-3, and we'll be doing pages uh, 498, 498 to uh, 500. Wow, half of a thousand, 500. So they're talking about uh, the weight of elephants. The weight of elephants. Um, the let's see here. An adult African elephant weighs about five tons. A baby African elephant weighs about 250 pounds. Wow. Like weight of a large man. How many pounds does the elephant, the adult elephant, weigh? And how can you convert 250 pounds to tons? Wouldn't it be? It'd be so cool to be able to ride an elephant. I'd love to be able to ride an elephant someday. I know there's places uh, you can do that. We and I can even. Uh, let's see here. I can cut out this elephant here. And uh, we'll use this, and we'll even get the baby elephant here, and we'll imagine there's students riding the elephants. Wouldn't that be cool? Riding some elephants. Here's the ground that they're they're on. the ground right there and then there's let me move this over here and there's here's some fifth grade boys running from the elephants that are going to uh, walk on them if they don't get out of the way look at these fifth grade boys in a panic running one of them's mr. Kep Definitely, Mr. Ward, maybe Mr. Andreessen, to name a few. And I think it's appropriate that the elephants are being ridden by some fifth grade girls who are as happy as can be riding the elephants that are going really fast. And there's even a girl on the on little baby elephants. Look at that wild hair. Woo! Okay, <laughs> there's your animation for the day. All right, um, so uh, <laughs> back back to the schoolwork here. Sorry, I get distracted. Okay, um, I think that's an excellent drawing, if I do say so myself. So uh, they talk about how to uh, how to convert that. So one one uh, ton is uh, is two thousand pounds, and one pound is, is sixteen ounces. And so they've talked about this before here in, in, a, in a couple of the sections here. To convert from larger units to smaller units, you multiply. To convert from smaller units to larger units, you divide. And so um, how, much, how many pounds does it weigh? That's the first question here. It's uh, 2,000 pounds per ton. It's 5 tons, so it's 5 times 2,000, so it's going to be 10,000 pounds. I think you guys get that. And convert from smaller units to larger units, you divide. So 250 pounds equals how many tons? That's the question. Okay, well, one ton is 2,000 pounds. So you divide, it's the 250 you divide by 2,000, which is one ton. And so you'll get one-eighth. It's one-eighth of a ton. And then down below it says, convince me when you convert 16 pounds to ounces, do you multiply or divide? Explain. Well, which is larger? Which is larger, 16 pounds or, or ounces? Or I should ask, which is larger, pounds or ounces? Well, uh, look right here. They give us the answer. I'm going to do a rectangle this time. I'm just going to cut this out right there. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to move it down. There's our answer. When you convert 16 pounds to ounces, do you multiply or divide? Explain. To convert from larger units, because pounds are larger than ounces, to smaller units, you multiply. There you go. There's the answer. Okay. Next page. 
All right, do you understand? Would it be best to measure the weight of an egg in tons, pounds, or ounces? Well, ounces. Ounces would make a, a lot more sense. Um, what types of tools do people select to measure weight? Explain your example. Um, well, types of tools, plural. So we need to give two. How about a, uh, a scale? Whoops. Got to spell that right. No, that's not right. What am I doing here? Scale. How do you spell scale? S-C... Um, um, A-L-E. That didn't look right. S-C. Is that how I spelled it before? I don't remember. Scale. Um, to weigh people. Okay. What's another one? Um, how about a balance? You guys know what a balance is? Balance kind of looks like this, and it has uh, an, an arm and a pan, and an arm and a and a, a pan. Okay. And you weigh. You put little weights on one side, and that'll tell you how much whatever the item is that you're weighing on that side. Usually smaller things, sometimes very small things. Okay. So a scale and a balance. Um, three through six, convert each unit of weight. The first one's easy. You should know what 2,000 pounds is. 48 ounces. Well, you should know what that is too because if you look on the previous page, you'll see that there's 16 ounces in one pound. Um, number five, 6,500 pounds. How would you do that one? Number five, 6,500 pounds. So 6,500, okay. Um, they're asking tons. How many tons is that? Well, how would you do that? 6,500 divided by 2,000 because 2,000 pounds is one ton. So um, you divide 6,500 by 2,000. It goes in three times. What's left over? 500 left over. And 500, I just know in my head, is one quarter of 2,000. Because 500 goes into 2,000 four times. So it's three and one quarter. Whoops, let me rewrite that so it looks a little bit neater. Three and one quarter tons okay or what if somebody they wanted to put it in decimal form what might that be what's one quarter in decimal form you should know this 3.25 okay there's number five done for you uh let's see here seven and eight you it looks like you're going to be using uh, less than greater than or equal to signs okay you should be able to do that um, how about number 10? Let's look at 10 for a second here. It's 7 and 1 tenth tons equals, um, they want to know how many pounds. Remember, LB stands for, for pounds. So, um, how many pounds are in 1 ton? 2,000. So, it's going to be 2,000, okay, times 7. What's that going to be? That's going to be 14,000 pounds right there. Okay, but we're not done yet. We've got to deal with the one-tenth. So we have to multiply one-tenth times 2,000. Okay, which would be one-tenth times what? 2,000 over 1. Okay, remember your multiplication when it comes to fractions? So we multiply straight across. What do we end up with? We end up with 2,000 okay, over 10. How many times does 10 go into 2,000? Goes in 200 times. So what's the answer? Um, it's 14,000, 14,200 pounds. 
Um, let's see here. 14. One ton. I'm looking at number 14 here. One ton is how many ounces? Well, one ton equals 2,000 pounds. LB for pounds. How many ounces are in a pound? How many ounces are in a pound? That's well, 16. 16 ounces equals one pound. So what would you do? How would you figure out how many ounces one ton is? So it's going to be 2,000 times what? Times 16. I'll let you figure that one out. Okay, let's move down here. Yeah, that's such great artwork. Okay. Um, oh, you know what? Before, it's too late now. You know what I would do is fill this out right now before you do anything else because this might actually help you solve some of these problems. So uh, 18, a uh, half a pound. Well, let's see here. A half a pound is how many ounces? Well, how many ounces are in a pound? 16, so half of that would be 8. And then 32 ounces. Well, remember, 16 ounces a pound. How many times does 16 go into 32? goes in twice. That's going to be 2 pounds. And 5 pounds equals how many ounces? Well, what's 5 times 16? 5 times 16 equals, that's what goes there. All right, a half a ton. Look at the number 19 now. A half a ton is what? Well, what's one ton? A thousand. So half a ton would be one thousand. Okay. Two tons would be four thousand. Okay. And then um, twelve thousand pounds. Well, what's twelve thousand divided by two? That would tell you how many tons that is. All right. Um, next page. Last page for your homework for today. Be precise, the perimeter of the rectangular playground shown below is 160 feet. What's perimeter? Perimeter is what's all the way around. Okay, what's around? That means this side, this side, this side, and this side. So it's all four sides added together. That's the perimeter. Well, if this side is 50 feet, what is this side? That's also 50 feet. Okay, so that's 100 feet right there. What's the perimeter? Perimeter is 160 feet. So we've used 100. That means there's 60 left over. If these two sides are the same length, what would they be? Well, what's half of 60? 30. 30 feet and 30. Come on, 30 feet. All right. So what's the area of the playground? Because they're not asking for perimeter. They gave it to us. It's 160 feet. What's the area? And we're not talking about volume. Area, if you remember, is everything inside a, a particular shape. And this one happens to be a rectangle. So what is, what's the formula to find area? Area equals length times width. That's all I'm going to do for you there. 21. Humans exploring space have left behind bags of trash, bolts, gloves, and pieces of satellites. There are currently about four. What number is that? Well, it's got six zeros. So that's four million pounds of litter. Julia, who's... Julia says that this amount using number names is 4 billion. Do you agree? No, you don't agree. No. Um, explain your thinking because um, six zeros is in the millions. And nine zeros would 
be in the billions. Okay. Uh, I'll do one more. Let me see here. What would be the most... Okay, so I lied. I'm not going to do just one more. <laughs> what would be the most appropriate unit to measure the combined weight of four horses? Um, well, they've got it listed here in pounds. That's not what I would use. I, I would use tons. Okay. About how much would four horses weigh? Write the weight in two different ways. What they're asking you to do is write it in... Whoops.